I'm here to ensure that everything with to do with the finances and your protection runs fairly smoothly. I can't promise it'll run 100% smoothly, but you know I will do my best to make sure it runs very, very smoothly with you. If you complete the budget planner, and we can talk through every single penny that goes out of your account so that you know that we've not missed anything. We then work out how much you can afford, what and what really, realistically, what it is that you want. So do you want to have life insurance? Do you want to have income protection? Do you want to buy your own home? Would you prefer to rent? And that's something that you and I have a conversation about. You know, preferably we meet for coffee. Preferably it's not done in an office environment because that's probably even worse. I can do it over the telephone. Whatever is easiest for you, we will do, but I will hold your hand from start to finish and the advice you get would always be the best of my ability to make sure that you get what you need. It's all about you as a person, not about you as a finance. Uh, my name's Sheila Bailey, I'm from Willow Private Finance. We help people to buy new homes, move house, remortgage to save money, get their protection sorted, anything to do with finance. But the, the most important thing is, is probably for the dad to take out an insurance on a mum if the children are staying with the, with the mother, because if the mother passes away, the father's got no one to look after those children. So you then have to kind of work a budget between the two of you, how you look after those children if the mum, if she's a stay at home mum, or even if she's a work from home mum, or a working mum, you still need to have somebody to look after those children should she pass away. Now they say that the um, average cost of a parent, a mother that stays at home, is actually £32,000 a year. So they don't necessarily go out and earn themselves an income, but it could cost you £32,000 a year for, for you to have to replace that parent as, as a you know a daily you know washing cooking ironing taking the kids to school the general things but could you you as a single parent now with no with no other parent there to support you could you afford thirty two thousand pound a year to pay somebody else to do that for you so that's something you, you have to have the whole discussion about whether or not it's an affordable option for you to take an insurance on each other or whether or not you have a separate insurance that's purely for the children. So, for example, if the mum or dad pass away, that they've got 100 to 150 or 200, whatever it is that you need, thousand pounds worth of cover, that is purely to support the children if you are not there, on top of any other insurances you've got to cover your own mortgage. You can set it up in trust, so you can set it up in trust for the children or for an executor of a will or for the other parent. Um, that would be a discussion that you need to have as to where you want the money to go. If you take a mortgage with myself, I would get remuneration from the actual lender that you go to, so I get paid a commission from the lender. However, even if I spend 20 hours talking to you over the telephone and you decide that you don't want to proceed, that advice is free. No, you would find that probably most people don't even have it set up ready for when they uh, are married so that's the bit that gets the forgotten it's the part where you say to your financial advisor yeah I'll do that another day and that other day doesn't happen so there is no insurances in place probably about five out of ten times whereas it's very important that you do have an insurance in place I'm here to support anybody in the BN area so that would cover from Eastbourne the other side of like the far side of Eastbourne to Littlehampton and up, up towards Lewis it's kind of like a triangle that I cover however I can deal with anybody from across the country if you don't have a particular advisor in your area um, I am able to meet you face to face obviously geographically if you're in the BN area if that's easiest for you or I'm able to do everything over the telephone uh, via email fax however it, however's best for you realistically um, if you like face to face I love face to face because it means I get to meet people and that's probably the best part of my job is meeting people um, but it's, it really is realistically what's best for you I'm a fully qualified CMAP, which means I've got a certificate in mortgage advice and practice. I have to remember that. <laughs> so it means I'm fully qualified to discuss all mortgages, whether that's residential, buy to let. Uh, I can also discuss insurances, whether, so that's life insurance, critical illness, income protection. 
I can also deal with business customers. So even if there's not a house involved or there's no mortgage involved, but they've uh, got a business together, but they've got insurances on that business, I can then discuss how the business insurance works elsewhere. There's a lot of things I can do. I'm also fully qualified for equity release, which is for the older client. I'm fully qualified to help all people with their finances. So at our initial conversation, there will be some few things that I will need to know before we can go any further. So I will need to have a completed budget planner. I will need to see your one month bank statement so that I can make sure what's on the budget planner is actually what's being paid out because it's amazing how many times we forget things. Um, we'd also need to know whether or not you have to pay school fees or whether or not you have, you know, whether or not you have a budget for things like car insurance, car tax. All of those things need to be included in your budget planner. They often get forgotten because they're annual renewals. So you forget your home insurance renewal, for example. You forget your car insurance renewal, and that has to be budgeted in. Um, we'd also need for you to have all of your paperwork with you, even if it's just at your house and I haven't seen it. I just need to have things like. Uh, for you to have your insurance policy document to hand so we know that you started your life insurance in 2002 and it's going down so in other words it's decreasing but you know how much you pay and you know when it ends then I can help you to ascertain whether that is the right policy to keep or whether we need to change it but these are all things that I can talk you through from the start as long as we chat first I can always give you a list if you're not 100% sure but you know for an initial conversation the best thing to do is a budget planner and a bank statement and we can go straight from there. How did I come to do what I'm doing now? I love my job. I love the being able to help people to see how they can progress with their life. I like being able to just help people. That's what I've always done and that's what I love doing the most is to help people. Um, I then got the opportunity to work in a bigger bank so I took that and I then got the opportunity to go self-employed and do, do it as I do now for Willow Private Finance. And it's the best thing I ever did going self-employed. It took a lot of courage and a lot of being scared, but you know, did it, but I love it. It means I have much more flexibility. I get to meet a huge amount more people. And I also have a much bigger range of products to offer somebody rather than just, you have to take this particular bank product. Um, you know, I use little tiny lenders that are completely different to a bank. They're like little building societies and it's, they're personable and they're nicer. And it makes my job so much easier with dealing with clients because I can't, you don't, I don't have to say, this is what I've got and this is what you have to take. Now I can go, what do you want and how can I help you? And that's the best part about my job and I love it.